Right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the National League Transfer News. Today, it's been a very busy last couple of weeks in the National League. Lots of big signings that will be covered in today's video. Before anything, hit the red subscribe button. Um, you've, you, like I said in the last one, you've killed the support. We're gaining more and more subscribers every day. So let's hit 1.8k before the end of July. And yeah, there's big transfers in here, so I want a big like target. I want 60 likes on today's video. Let's go on to the first signing, which is Ben Whitfield has left Torquay United to Stockport County. Whitfield recently played a part in Torquay's 2021 uh, season success after joining from Port Vale a few seasons ago. Injuries, unfortunately, have limited uh, Whitfield's playing time at Plainmore, only playing 27 times and hitting the back of the net in those only five times in the 27 games. I think he will flourish at the Hatters, though, under Simon Rusk. Um, they're building a big squad. Stockport, he had a strong team, and now they're just building on it more and more. Um, and I can see Stockport doing well next season. So Whitfield to Stockport is the first signing. Enzio Baldvine has left Notts County to Sutton United. Quite unexpected this one. We knew Baldvine was going to leave. I thought he was going to be to Chesterfield, but no, he's gone up a step to play for Sutton. 28-year-old Dutch winger signed for Matt Gray, Sutton United side, who recently won the National League. He played nearly every game in this in the 21-20, nope, 2021 season for the Magpies. Um, doing quite well. Like it's always been a player I've admired. National League fans should know all about him. This is a great coup for Sutton, and I think he will do well in the Football League, as he has done before. Um, so yeah, Baldvine to Sutton United. Danilo Orsi Dodomo has left Maidenhead to Harrogate after scoring for fun at York Road uh, last season. It was inevitable. Danilo Dodomi. Orsi was going to take the step up and go into the Football League. 19 goals in 39 games for the striker this season. This is a good signing for Harrogate. Orsi, can he hack it in the Football League? I hope he does because he's a very good striker, very lethal. Um, but like I said in my notes, can he do the same in the EFL? So Orsi has joined Harrogate Town. Luke Armstrong has departed Hartlepool for Harrogate. So, Armstrong joins Orsi up front. Those two will be great. Personally, this is a very strange one. I thought, even though Armstrong was on loan, I thought Hartlepool would have tried their best to get him back on loan, maybe for another season or get him on a permanent. Um, or Salford should have just tried to keep him. Um, but yeah, he was. this is a strange one. 15 goals... Uh, last season in 31 games, him and Danilo Orsi will be lethal. Harrogate look very good. Um, and yeah, so Luke Armstrong has gone to Harrogate Town along with Danilo Orsi de Domo. Youngster Sonny Carey has left Kingsland Town to Blackpool. What a move this is for the young man. A lot of clubs were after him, but it seems to be Blackpool that won the battle with a fee reported around £500,000. At the minute, it's undisclosed, but a lot of people are saying it will be for 500 k If this is the case, Kingsling can improve their squad quite a bit. Um, will he be loaned out to uh, maybe like a League 2 team to get game time, or will he somehow get into... Blackpool's first team, obviously having been promoted to the EFL Championship, he scored a worldie against Wrexham, um, almost like the second to last game of the season, we knew he was going to be a good talent and he's got his move deservedly to Blackpool. A few other signings that have happened this week, Cameron Cokes has left Solihull for Colchester United, Goldon Mateo has left Wrexham for Kings Lynn Town, Jeff King has left Halifax for Chesterfield. Mark Little has joined Yeovil after being a free agent. And Steve Arnold has joined the Shrimpers Southend on a free transfer. So yes, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Drop a comment down below. What are your thoughts on some of these transfers? A lot of good players have left the league. 
um, or joined other clubs in the league. It's going to be very interesting next year in the National League. Hit the red subscribe button and yeah, I'll see you guys in another episode of National League Transfers very soon because I have a feeling that Michael Wrexham might be signing a couple of players soon. So yeah, see you guys in another video. Take care.